Hello everyone and welcome to my beautiful Halloween. I had to include this beautiful dark 3D spider eye in this year's series. This look is inspired by an artist named Talia who created a 3D spider eye look for Anastasia Beverly Hills last Halloween. With credit to the originator of this viral 3D spider eye makeup, Sonia Miro. You will often see this look on both eyes, but I wanted to create it on one to give the other eye a more smoky look. Now, if you guys are ready, let's create this 3D spider eye illusion makeup. I'm first gonna be priming my face and neck with an illuminating primer. For an extra glow, I'm applying a liquid highlighter using a flat foundation brush. I'll also be applying a liquid highlighter to the body. I'll be airbrushing my foundation on using a medium coverage foundation that matches my skin tone. With a white concealer, I'm going to add some brightness and coverage under my eyes, then blending that out with a damp sponge. Using a cool tone cream contour shade, I'm going to contour the hollows of the cheeks and temples. Then adding some extra highlight with that white concealer. Here I'm using a brightening translucent powder to set all of those creams in place. Using a green duochrome highlight, I'm going to be highlighting the face and the body. Going into a powder contour kit, I'm going to enhance the contour areas. I'm also contouring into the inner corner of the brow bone, jawline, and under the bottom lip. I'm using a smudgy black eyeliner to start out the smoky eye. With a black shadow, I'm going to blend over the top of the eyeliner to create an intense black smoky eye. Dipping into a cool tone contouring powder, I'm going to blend into the crease area outwards. Highlight the inner corner of the eye with a foiled purple eyeshadow. Using a dark brown brow pomade, I'm going to create a straight and very sharp brow shape. To conceal the brow hairs, I'm using a white cream color to hide the dark brow hairs and a loose powder to set them in. Now I'm going to go ahead and create that black smoky eye on my left eye, repeating all of the steps we used before. With the matte black liquid liner, it's time to create the spider. I start by drawing on the legs of the spider, holding the liquid liner pen very lightly, and when I draw them on, I'm flicking the brush for the thinnest line possible. Start very thin, there are eight legs of a spider, and my legs here are all very different sizes. With the same black liquid liner, I'm gonna start thickening up the legs and add some bends and joint areas. You can clean up with some concealer to sharpen any lines if needed. With white liquid liner, I'm going to add some highlights throughout the spider's legs. The highlights should be small and different sizes as well, and I created them by just dotting on that white liner. With black eyeshadow, I'm going to start creating the shadow that is under the spider. This creates that three-dimensional effect. Whenever the leg is casting a shadow, that shadow will appear beneath the spider leg. You can go back and darken up the very base of the shadow afterwards. I'll also be adding some silver glitter to the legs for a wet shine. Now you can apply mascara and false lashes. Using the matte black liquid eyeliner, I'm going to conceal that lash band. Here I'm adding more mascara and chunky bottom lashes. At this point, I drew a spider on my shoulder, but I will be removing it later because I felt like it took away from the look. Here I'm applying some rhinestones to the spider's eye and adding some stones onto the spider's legs. Now I'm going to be applying a glossy black vinyl lip. Add on some clear eye gloss for a wet lid look. Set all of that in with a long lasting setting spray. I'm going to be airbrushing foundation onto my chest and shoulders to even out my skin tone. Using a black airbrush paint, I'm going to apply to the neck area and along the shoulders and arms like a halo of color. 
Repeat that step using a shade of purple airbrush paint. With a pearlescent airbrush paint, I'm going to highlight the center of the chest, the collarbones, and shoulders. I'm using a dewy mist to adhere the glitter on, and I'm topping off the body with a holographic glitter. I popped on some earrings that went with the look and slicked back my hair as a final step. I also popped in some gray contacts.